Hello, darling. Come in and welcome to Thriller Video. I'm your hostess, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Thanks for inviting me into your home. Hmm, looks like a pretty swell place you got here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. It was a made day off. Like I always say, it's good to get hard help these days. Uh, I mean, it's it's help to get hard good these... Uh, <clears throat> I mean, never mind. It's, uh, I don't even know what I mean. <laughs> well, some of us got brains, and then some of us just got a couple of swell consolation prizes. <laughs> you know, people are always saying to me... Uh, what are they always saying? Oh, yeah, people are always saying, Elvira, you know, it's wrong for you to exploit your body that way. And I say, heck, opportunity only gives you knockers once. Just my luck. Hey, cheer up, honey. If you want to look like me, all you got to do is get yourself a long black wig and a real sexy loca dress like this one. And then you just got to do about 2,000 of these suckers. <laughs> and if that doesn't work, you can always turn the dress around backwards and go and share. Or the other thing you can do is go out and buy one of these new cross your heart bras that our lovely model is wearing. Kind of lifts as it separates, provided you've got something to lift and separate. Anyway, enough of the fun. Let me tell you about your movie. It's a little baby called Guardian of the Abyss, and it's all about devil worship. Not to be confused with the Shelley Winters and Orson Welles classic, Guardian of the Obese, which is about devil's food cake worship. No, we are talking serious devil worship here. So this one could get scary. I doubt it, but why take chances? So I suggest that you watch this one with someone you love. And as I always say, if you can't be with the one you love, love the one you're with. <laughs> Plus, of course, the one you're with is a cocker spaniel. In which case, just forget what I said. So, is everybody ready? All right, then. I'll be back later. And until then, let Thriller Video introduce you to the Guardian of the Abyss. What? That's it? I mean, just because I'm Mistress of the Dark doesn't mean I like to be left in the dark. Excuse me for asking, but I just have a couple of questions. Like, for starters, where is the happy ending? And what happened to once again good triumphs over evil and... Then they all live happily ever after. <laughs> Boy, I am glad Sly Stallone didn't see this movie before he wrote Rocky, or Rocky would have lost the championship and burned in hell forever. Where is the writer? I want to know who is responsible for writing this horrible ending. Writing. Yeah, writing, as in script, as in story, as in plot. What did you guys do? Just kind of make this one up as you went along until you finally ran out of money and said, Okay, that's leaving. So you know. Yeah, I figured as much. You have to get up pretty early in the evening to pull the worm over my eyes. Like that chick Allison. I mean, I could tell she was a two-timer the moment I laid eyes on her. But not our former hero. That's what you get for being stupid enough to trust some chick who steals from you and then tries to stab you to death. Well, I guess some people just aren't very good judges of character. Why, heck, I can spot a phony a mile away. I mean, I wasn't born yesterday, you know. <laughs> I mean, not that I'm that old. Can I say 20? Oh, why, yes. Yes, you can. <laughs> hey, you know, you're kind of a pretty good guesser. You guessed my age exactly. Now, take a guess. What would you say my bus size is? Can I say 20? <laughs> Only if you multiply that times two. Well, I am tired of playing 20 questions. I am out of here. I'm going out to the junk store to see if I can't find me one of them screwing up, I mean, scrawling glasses. But I'll be back. You can find me haunting around on other thriller videos, like Growing Pains. After their child dies due to an accidental poisoning, the parents adopt a boy who possesses strange powers. We'll call him Harry. And their son returns only to seek revenge. You've come at last, William Morton. I knew you would. 
our flesh and blood is out of sight. Liam Morton is out of sight. Growing pains. The strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Jack Palin stars in Robert Louis Stevenson's classic story of the frustrated Dr. Jekyll's experimental study of a man's dual nature. The conflict between good and evil, and how is the wicked Mr. Hyde he terrorized 18th century London. Dr. Jekyll, do you claim that this uh, uh, chemical concoction of yours is ready for experiment on humans? In your opinion, that is. Yes, I do. Billy Whitelaw stars as Gwyn, the woman who falls under Hyde's tormenting spell. From the producers of Dark Shadows, the strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And everyone's favorite, Two Faces of Evil. A sinister force lurks in the darkness, catapulting a family into an abyss of icy terror. My husband, he's all right. Excellent. Good. Science mm. has restored Excellent. him. Excellent. Excellent. But the evil they incurred that night will not be forgotten. The Force has taken on new life, living and breathing beside her. He's been taken over. Spreading like a malignant web <laughs> that no one can stop. Mommy. And she may be the next victim of the two faces of evil. So until then, I'll see you in your dreams. What dreams? Unpleasant dreams.